My name is Jeff Brignall, I'm the principal of Jackson Liberty High School, and I'd like to welcome you to Jackson Liberty's virtual new student orientation. As you all know, we are in different times this year, uh, going back to the end of last year to the beginning of this year. Um, but I want you to know that we are all very excited for this new year to begin. I'm sure a lot of you students are a little bit anxious to start a new school year. Uh, we're anxious too, um, but that doesn't mean that all the things that we normally offer, um, hopefully we'll be able to offer to you again this year. Um, we are here to support you, um, whether it's administrators, teachers, staff, security, cafeteria workers, custodians, we're here to support you. Um, we're also here to challenge you. We're going to raise the bar of expectations, but we are here to help you get above that bar. Um, we have a lot of things to offer you this year. Whether you're in the hybrid schedule or the remote schedule, we're going to try and bring you our high school experience as it should be. Um, parents, I'm sure you're a little bit anxious as well. Um, we're here not only for your children, but we're here for you as well. But we want and need your help. We need you to be involved, stay engaged, and um, we want to make this high school um, experience as memorable for the students as possible. Students, you're gonna be hearing from a lot of different people today that are going to give you a lot of helpful information, but that does, does not mean that you can't contact us and parents as well, um, email, call at any time because of these different times and we know what type of uh, anxiety you have, we have it as well. But soon enough, we will be here starting our school year and we can't wait to see you all. So I hope you guys um, enjoy the program that you're going to see today and again, we're excited. Hope to see you all soon. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome, uh, welcome aboard to uh, an exciting uh, new year. And um, you know, I'm Rob Panicky. I'm the athletic director here at uh, Jackson Liberty High School and also Jackson Memorial High School. Um, what first, I would like to encourage all of you: um, give give athletics an opportunity. So uh, there's a lot of things out there. We we offer uh, over 28 different sports um, at all different levels. So. We really encourage you, we, we think that uh, being involved in high school athletics is real important and, and really helps you transition into the high school, uh, you know, smoothly and, and really opens up some doors for you down the future. The work ethic and, and the different things that we learn through athletics, uh, the discipline, the uh, time management are really important and are, are good traits that you can learn by being involved. Um, you know, the few things that we talk about, obviously this year, um, we are in a little bit different world and things are are, are different than they have been in the past. So we need to be you know, as flexible as possible. You may some, see some things change, uh, how we have to run things, but I can assure you that we are gonna do everything we can to try to give you an opportunity based on all the guidelines and based on all the regulations from the state of New Jersey to try to give you an opportunity to participate in athletics. Uh, as a district, we feel very strong that it's a, a value to all of you. Um, I want to encourage you, please, a couple things to note. Make sure that um, you go out and get your physical this summer so that you're prepared and, and we, can, we can get you on a roster. Please make sure when you get here that you know, we do the right things academically. Uh, you're passing your classes. Uh, there are guidelines. You get, you get a clean slate to start, but then you must pass at least 15 credits each half of the year to be able to participate in sports. So that's, that's important for you to know. Um, Again, high school sports are tough or they're demanding. The coaches are already uh, doing some things and working out. I encourage you to keep, make sure you keep yourself in shape. Be ready. Be prepared for day one. Uh, don't wait till the last minute to get yourself in condition. And uh, 
we welcome you aboard. We hope that you get involved. If you have any questions or needs and concerns, you can always reach out to me, Mr. Panicu, uh, in my office, and uh, I will do everything I can to take care of you. All right, so best of luck and welcome aboard. Hello, my name is Joe Imordino, and I'm the Food Service Director for Jackson Schools, and welcome to a new school year. Parents, the free and reduced applications are now available on the Food Service link of the Jackson website. Also, on the first day of school, your children will receive a packet of information that includes a hard copy of the application. Please be mindful of a few things. Only one application per family is required. Online applications are now available uh, online. Simply log into payschoolcentral.com. Once you log into the system, a pop-up box will appear and you will be directed to the online application. Please read the application carefully and follow the guidelines as they have changed. It is important to return the application as soon as possible, but no later than October 19th. Please take care of these applications as they are time sensitive and so there's no disruption in your benefits. If you receive free and reduced lunch this year, you will continue to receive these benefits for the next 30 school days or until we receive a new application but no later than October 20th. The parent portal will have your child's account balance for you to review. As an added benefit to this, there is a link to the payschoolcentral.com online payment feature for your convenience so you can ensure that money is in your child's account for their meals. The parent portal will ha have your child's account balance for your review. As an added benefit to this, there is a link to the payschoolcentral.com online payment feature for your convenience so you can ensure that your money is in your child's account for their meals. You can add money to their accounts by paying cash or check at the registers or go online to payschoolcentral.com uh, payment feature. For those parents who do use Payschool Central method, there is a feature that will allow you to automatically replenish funds into your child's account. For those parents who do have this feature, please be sure to check the expiration date as the feature will automatically close um, at the end of the school year. To start the year, meals will be available to you to take home. We will have breakfast and lunch of, delivered to your, to your class during your fourth period class. More on this uh, on your first day of, of school. Under normal circumstances, we serve both breakfast and lunch here at Liberty. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria C as well as a concession stand area by the bell from 7 a.m. to 7.10. Please be mindful that you will need to be at your homeroom no later than 7.15. For lunch, you will need to see your schedule where your lunch location and times are. Things are different here at the high school. We offer more stations and meal options than you had at middle school. In order to avoid delays, please be sure that you have enough money in your accounts to purchase breakfast and or lunch. We do not go into a deficit in the school service accounts. Also, it is important for you to use your IDs to minimize the, the touch pads to access your accounts. We hope you enjoy your meals here at Liberty and we wish you a great school year. What's up, Jackson Liberty, Mr. Chesley here. I'm in charge of the student section called the Red Zone. Uh, we just try and get as many, as many students out to the games as possible. Um, we sell t-shirts, Red Zone t-shirts, $10 a piece. You buy a t-shirt, you get into every single game for free for the whole year. Um, those shirts are going to be on sale in the athletic office. Um, day one, as soon as we get to school. And uh, during football games, basketball games, a lot of fun. We shoot t-shirts out into the crowd. And uh, we're just looking to get as many people at the games as possible. Welcome class of 2024. I'm Mr. Lax, Assistant Principal at Jackson Liberty High School, and I wanted to welcome all you to the great school here at Jackson Liberty High School. Today I'm going to be talking briefly about a day in the life at Jackson Liberty. First things first, you'll get on your bus or your parent or guardian will drop you off. If your parent or guardian is dropping you off, they will do that at the side of the building, door 39. Otherwise, you will get off at the bus drop-off zone. After getting off your bus or arriving via your parent or guardian, you will proceed directly to homeroom. Our homeroom is approximately five minutes. That's where you'll receive any information you'll need for the day. Um, important tidbits, Mr. Brignola, our principal, make, may make an announcement, and our student council president will have daily announcements as well. 
After our five minute homeroom, you will have an, about an hour this year of class. You'll have four periods. Period one will be an hour. In between each period will be approximately five minutes to change classes, which will be plenty of time. Don't worry about it. And then period two will be an hour. Period three will be an hour. And period four will be an hour. Some important people that we have and some important places that you'll go through on this is our guidance department. If you have any questions concerning your schedule or academics, you can go see them. The child study team, where my office is located, has child study uh, team counselors. If you have any questions that deal with that. Our nurses are here to help you with any health related issues. And we're all here to help. Me as your assistant principal, Mr. Lax, Mr. Bender, Mr. Brunson, and Mr. Brignola are your administrative team, as well as Mr. Panicu and Mr. Hesden help out with athletics. We know you're going to have a great year this year. Things may be a little different, but you're going to have just as much fun. Good luck, and we can't wait to see you. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Myers. I'm going to be talking to you about the guidance department. Um, just a little breakdown. Um, we have Miss Ferrara. She has letters A through C N, and she's also part of the Jackson Arts Academy. We have Mrs. Siegel. She has letters C O to G R, and she is in charge of the STEM Academy. We have Mr. Patterson. He has letters G S through L A, and he does the Digital Media Academy. Um, we have myself. I'm in charge of LE to PO, and I do the Pride Academy. And then we have Mrs. Hobbs, who has PP to Z, and she does the Jackson Academy of Business. So that is how we are broken down. Um, you know, even though we have our own little alphabet and we have our own little academy, we still work as a team. So if any time you want to come down, if you have questions and your counselor isn't available, you can come and see any of us. That's how we roll down here. Um, I know it might be a little bit different this year in regards to being on remote, being in school, however it might play out, but um, we're going to be probably setting up Google Meets with you and there will be a form online through our guidance webpage. So that's something definitely you want to check out. Just go to the Jackson Liberty website, go under our guidance tab, and you can find a bunch of different information in regards to you know, college information, um, working papers, you can find our contact information. So it's really um, handy dandy to get to know all that. Also the program of studies, which classes we offer at Jackson Liberty. And um, you know, one of the main things transitioning from eighth to ninth grade is, you know, time management. Um, we were broken down into semesters, two semesters, so each marking period is only 30 days long. So you want to make sure that you're staying on top of your academics as well as your other extracurricular activities that you're involved in. Um, and also the other big thing is communication, making sure that you're in contact with us, um, your teacher, your parent, so we're all on the same board. and. Um, you know, you have the best high school experience. So, um, you know, really want to advocate for yourself and, you know, come down and see us or, you know, we'll have Google Meets with you and we'll make it happen. Thanks. Hi, welcome new students, freshmen, parents. My name is Beth Smink. I'm one of the school nurses here at Jackson Liberty. Um, welcome to the Liberty family. There are two nurses here at Liberty, myself, and I'd like to welcome back Dave Morawski. He was with us a few years ago as a private duty nurse for some of our more medically fragile students. More recently, he was the school nurse over at McAuliffe, so the incoming freshmen should be very familiar with him. And he's going to be with us now here at Liberty, so welcome, Mr. Morawski. I'd like to start right off the bat with the COVID. I'd ask you to please be vigilant about keeping your children home if they're experiencing symptoms of COVID or have been exposed to someone who has tested positive. I realize that these symptoms can be very vague. And we're kind of casting a broad net, but I'd like you to be vigilant, keep a watch out for symptoms. They may stay home sometimes when they don't need to, um, but we're trying to keep our staff and students here as safe as possible. Please communicate with me um, as much as you can about what's going on if your students are on quarantine or your children are on quarantine or any positive testing in the house. That way we can help keep track and make sure we're all on the same page about um, when it's safe to return. Um, I'll give contact information at the end. 
Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please keep your contact information up to date on the portal. That's going to be very important, especially this year. We may need to get a hold of you to come pick up your children relatively quickly if there's an issue. So make sure if there are any changes to your cell phone number, um, make sure you take care of that right away. As far as medications go, the same rules apply this year. Children are allowed to carry their inhalers and EpiPens with current doctor's orders on file. There are forms for those two medications specifically. They're available online on the Jackson School District website under the, the health information tab. You can also email me directly and I can email you the specific forms that you need if, if that would be more convenient. Make sure those orders are up to date and, and you can always call me with any questions. I'm not in the office yet, but you can reach me via email. Um, sports physicals. It's a little different this year because we didn't hold the sports physicals in June, but if your student has not handed in a sports physical within the past 12 months, and a lot of them have not since we didn't offer the physicals in June this year, please try to get that done with your private physician as quickly as possible, especially if your, if your children are playing fall sports, try to hand those sports physicals in so we can get them processed. As soon as you, as soon as you can get that done, we would appreciate it. Things that you can do to help your child succeed, especially with the remote learning, things can be a little tricky. Um, please encourage them to maintain a consistent sleep-wake cycle. Try not to let them sleep in until the afternoon. If the kids are getting up in the morning, they'll just function at a higher level, be more productive, and have a more stable mood. Um, encourage social interaction using social media and social distancing, uh, but they should still be in, in frequent contact with their friends um, to keep them healthy. Make sure they're eating well. That will help keep their immune system strong. It would be great to just sit home and eat junk food on the couch all the time, but unfortunately um, that leads to bad outcomes. So try to keep healthy food in the house and um, be a good example. And encourage daily physical activity to help the students manage their stress levels. If you need to get in touch with me anytime from now and through the school year via email, my email is esmink at jacksonsd.org. So that's E-S-M-I-N-K at jacksonsd.org. My office phone number is 732-415-7010, and that is once school begins. And you can always leave a message with the main office secretary and she can reach out for me as well. So welcome to the Liberty family. Happy to have you here. Hi, my name is Lorene Caggiano and I'm the Student Assistance Coordinator here at Jackson Liberty High School. The Student Assistance Coordinator, or they call us the SAC Counselor, if you hear the word SAC, you'll know what that means. Uh, we have a very unique role in that we cater to all of the students of the building and we assist them with a variety of different issues that they might be having. Students can come to us uh, basically discussing any peer conflicts, substance abuse, mental health issues. Basically, we're one person that they can confidentially come to in the building <clears throat> to discuss pretty much anything. Uh, that being said, in the role of the SAC, we are able to keep it confidential. So students know they have a support here at school that they could turn to for pretty much anything and it won't go to anybody. Uh, students are aware that when they do come into my office, if there's someone hurting them, if they're going to hurt others, or if they're going to hurt themselves, those are the three conditions in which I would have to disclose the information that they gave me and I would not be able to hold their confidence with that. Other than that, I have a lot of students that come to me for a whole array of different uh, issues that they might be experiencing. In my role, we not only provide short-term intervention counseling, but we triage a situation and we look to the community for other resources that they might be able to benefit from. So if we feel that the student would best be served too in an outpatient setting or if they're having mental health issues and maybe see a doctor, um, we're able to assist the parents in finding those community resources to help assist them in getting those resources to their child. Um, we also do programming here in my position. We have had Mark Marrow, we have had Mikey Fallon, we even brought in a musical. Um, to discuss different topics related to substance abuse and mental health, which gave a fresh take on those hot topics and gave the students some new education um, as it surrounds those topics. 
Um, and they were quite successful. The students really like the programming that we bring into the school. <clears throat> Here at the school, I also run the DART program, which is a youth prevention coalition that Jackson Liberty has, where we invite students to come out and help we formulate a group to help raise awareness for mental health and substance abuse issues and other hot topic issues. Um, it looks great on a resume. And we have a wellness fair every year where they invite community resources to come in and share their experiences and they get to know the community resources. So say they have any issues or maybe they don't want to bring it to us and they want to talk to parents about it. Um, they're able to bring that information home to them so they can, you know, feel what's best fit for them if they were looking for community resources. So our group does a lot of raising awareness and we participate in a variety of different activities to help raise that awareness. So I am located on the first floor in the main hallway across from child study team in room A107. So if there's any student who needs help or assistance with anything, I am here to help. Um, students can feel free to come and again talk to me confidentially about any issues they may be having. With the exception of those three exceptions, um, again, it's kept confidential and I'm here as a resource and support and I want them to come to me. So welcome freshman class. I know this isn't your traditional setup. But we are looking forward to when we can meet you in person and just stop by and say hi. Good day and welcome to Jackson Liberty High School. My name is Mr. Brunson. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Jackson Liberty. And I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all of our new students. And I'd also like to take an opportunity to introduce our pals, our peer assistance leaders. These are the big brothers and big sisters of Jackson Liberty High School who are going to lead you on this virtual tour today. They are available uh, once school starts to answer any of your questions and direct and provide any assistance or support that you might need here at Jackson Liberty High School. They are a volunteer group of students who are uh, one of some of our most valuable people here in the building. And again, I know that they'll do a great job in providing you with any support that you might need as we begin this school year and take you on this virtual tour of Jackson Liberty High School. I thank you for your time today, and I hope that this uh, tour that you're going to be led on today is informative and productive, and know that we're always here to support. Thank you again, and welcome to Jackson Liberty High School. Welcome to Jackson Liberty High School. As an incoming freshman, you might need somebody to show you the ropes, especially because we're in weird times. So this will be a little bit of a uh, tour, if you will. This way, we have the auditorium. A lot of great presentations happen in there, some great seminars too. We've got the main office, where you don't want to end up unless you really need to be there. Don't get in trouble. Behind me, we've got the gym. Some great sports happen, unless you're me, in which case you kind of get hit with the volleyball a lot. And over there, we got guidance. It's actually good to show up to guidance sometimes if you need help or want to advocate for yourself. All right, now we are in the cafeteria. If you see cafe or bistro, this is cafe. Uh, you can choose which one you want to go to. And behind the camera over there, there is the, uh, the uh, kitchen where you can choose where, what you want to eat, obviously. One side is for the hot food and the other side is for the sandwiches or the cold food. I really recommend the sandwiches. They're, uh, you can make them any way you want, and they're really good. Right along in the C wing is the English classes, and you'll have one of two of the English teachers, one being an honors teacher who is Waldron, which is a talk of the town around the school, and the other is DeSanza, which is another great guy. Um, you will never have a dull moment in English, so you should be excited to take these classes. Now we're in the heart of the D-Wing. This is where the TV tech studio is. Anyone in JTV or the Digital Media Academy will be spending a lot of time here. You'll spend time with Noble and Ferrone, the best. They're so much fun and they're really here to help you learn about all the technology we have to offer. Uh, also in the D-Wing is any engineering or wood tech classes and any art classes you might take. There's a chance you'll have financial literacy with Ms. Hayek down the hall. Everyone here is just a lot of fun and they're here to help you. All right, so next up, down the hall, we have some business and finance courses headlined by the great Master Marino and other fine teachers. You can learn about accounting, finance, business, and student success and how to really, you know, go places after high school. Over here, we have the lecture hall. We have a lot of club and team meetings, so always stay up to date on what's happening in there. Next, we have the school store run by Ms. Capasso most days. It's a great place to hang out sometimes and just get a snack if you're hungry. Then, right behind me, we have the Instructional Media Center or the IMC. Let's take a look inside. So, 
Here we are in the IMC. This place has a lot of great things to offer. You've got the computer lab, an endless collection of books, and sometimes if you stop by, pure tutoring. And if you ever need an explanation or help, there's a great Miss Matassa who's always here to help out. Really, she's been one of the people who told me everything I need to know about this place. In fact, right back there, we've got a door that leads to the Lion's Closet. It's an awesome thrift shop where you can get cheap clothes, Liberty wear. It's really a great place. You know, some people have said about this library that it looks like a Barnes and Nobles, but you'll have to decide for yourself. So please stop by and check it out. All right, now we're in the C-Wing. Um, right behind me is Assistant Principal Bender's office where you can just go and his secretaries are there. You guys can talk to him whenever you need. And then right behind me is the bus ramp. This is where you're going to be coming in every single morning and then going as you're going to the buses. And All right, now we're in Upper B-Wing and I sat in school alternative placement. Now, I'm not speaking from personal experience, but this is where you don't want to end up, all right? Now, usually, way back when, if you got a bunch of lates, you'd end up here. Thank goodness, not anymore. I'm late all the time. Three lates, you get a detention. But this, this is for the bad stuff. Cursing at teachers, being rude in the hallways, just general disrespect, stuff you don't want to be seen doing. Because if people see you doing that, this is where you end up, and it's no fun. You've been through quarantine already. This is like in-school quarantine. No friends, nothing. You sit here, and you just waste away. So please, please, don't end up here. Can never get that one open. All right, now we're in the social studies unit. Um, good teachers to have are Grubb, but you're probably gonna have Mr. Beaver, he's the honors teacher, and then Ms. Tilker, she's the uh, regular teacher. Both are really, really good teachers. I really like both of them, they're really cool. All right, so this is what your typical science class looks like. Uh, freshman year, you'll be taking bio, Great class, very confusing, but you can do it. The two teachers are Russo for regular bio and Hopko. Everyone loves that lady. She's honors, so you smarties, you'll be happy. Now we're in the upstairs B-Wing, where you're gonna be taking your math courses, starting from algebra all the way up to AP Calc. And all of the teachers are really cool. They have a lot of energy and they work really hard and if you need extra help, they're here for you. You, the, you can take uh, math labs, is what they call them. You can stay after and then they help you. It'll be in Mr. Perry's room. Um, yeah, so any world language classes you have will be up here. We have great teachers that are just trying to help. They are here for anything you need. All right, we're back in everyone's favorite room, the lunchroom. Same thing as the bistro. We have the cold subs and we also have whatever hot foods they're making. And yes, you can use your phones during lunch. Everyone loves that. And you can always make new friends in the cafeteria. Hey, can I be your friend? Um, no. Except for Chris. We're now standing in front of Assistant Principal's Office, Mr. Brunson's. Off to the side, you can find the Pride Program, where we have credit recovery for anyone that's a little behind. Um, you can come here for anything you need. Now I'm in the fitness room, taking a stroll, getting my steps in, and you'll be seeing this room if you take a sport or if you have to make up a gym class. Right next door are your health rooms, and right next to that is the athletic hallway, which is the gym, athletic department, and the auxiliary gym. Let's go look at it. Now we're in the gym, where you'll be getting all your energy out for 80 minutes. At the start of the school year, you won't have to be changing, just wear your sneakers. Just in case you get hurt, the nurse is right across the hall. Another option that you can have down the road is taking strength and conditioning class senior year where you'll be in the weight room lifting some weights, pumping that iron. Right now we are in the band room. Uh, this is where a lot of great music stuff happens. Um, I'm not privy to it but we've got a great band leader, uh, Katona. He's been here for years and he's one of the best. Directly across we have the chorus room where you do chorus. But um, also in this wing, we have piano lab classes. We've got a lot of good musical stuff here, or theater. Right across the hall, we have the auditorium, where a lot of musically inclined and dramatic people get to really show off their stuff. We have the show choir and the concert band, if you're into those things. And also, like I said, the drama productions are really something else. We've got a fall play, and we've also got a musical. I mean, it's really something incredible. 
Right next to the auditorium, we have the new dance studio. And really, if you're interested in dance, please, please ask someone about it because the captains are very nice, very welcoming group of, of dancers, and they'd love to have you. So please, check those out. So that wraps up our virtual orientation. Remember, Jackson Liberty High School is full of activities, sports, and clubs for you to get involved in. There truly is something here for everyone. On behalf of our administration team, teachers, and support staff, we look forward to seeing you on September 8th. Welcome to the home of the Liberty Lions.